hello guys and welcome back to a video series on um, integration now in the last video we discussed about the laws of integration so of definite integral to be precise um to be precise we gave them um, two laws that we usually use when it comes to definite integral and i gave a challenge that you guys should go work on so in this video what i'll be doing uh, i'll be starting out with um, giving a solution to those um, challenges and then we'll proceed from that so the first one i gave according to the concept we have there uh, we said if you integrate if you have this integral both of them are meant to give you the same thing you're integrating from 4 to 2 or you try to reverse it um, you swap the lower and the upper limits but once you're swapping the lower and the upper limit then you should be sure to assign a negative sign to whatever you're getting so for the fact that i'm swapping this i'm making um, 4 to become the upper limit and 2 to become the lower limit um, for that reason I have this minus sign I have there so we said these two results would always um, give us the same answer okay these two expression will give us the same answer or the same result uh, of which I gave it to you guys to go try it out and that's what I'm going to be starting with okay so let's see if that's going to work out so we have this we are asked to integrate from 4 that's for the left hand side 4 to 2 so I'm basically working on the left hand side right now. I'm integrating from 4 to 2 of 2x plus 1. Okay? That's what I'm trying to integrate. Now if you integrate this, what you're going to get will be I'm um, integrate 2x, you're going to have 2x squared all over 2. And then you integrate 1, you'll be getting x as your result, right? then yeah we don't need to say plus c since this is definite integral we just have to say our limit is from 4 down to 2 that's the limit from 4 to 2 so yeah these two can cancel when they cancel what you have is just x squared plus x that's what we have the x squared plus x and the limit remains from 4 to 2 so we go ahead to substitute the upper limit first so if two, 2 here um, you have 2 squared plus 2 that's when you step to the upper limit then minus you step to the lower limit that's 4 put 4 there you have 4 squared right plus 4 and that's what we have for the lower limit so if we simplify this out 2 square will give us 4 4 plus 2 will give us 6 and um, 4 square will give us 16 16 plus that will give us 20 and so this is going to be 6 and this is not um, a plus is meant to be a minus so this is going to be a minus so it will be 6 minus 20 and 6 minus 20 will give us a result as um, minus 16 so this is what we have for the left hand side so what we have here is basically the left hand side so the left hand side is giving us minus 16 so the question is is the left hand side going to be the same thing as the right hand side so the right hand side is minus of the integral from 2 to 4 so let's try that out so we have we want to integrate minus the integral from 2 to 4 right and what we are trying to integrate is 2x and still plus 1 that's what we are trying to integrate we're integrating this with respect to x so if you integrate this now what you're going to get we still leave our minus sign there for that reason let's just open this bracket integrate this we are still going to get eventually x squared plus x that's what we are going to get when you simplify that just try that out the limit now is from 2 down to 4 right so we have a minus sign out there we have this larger bracket so we substitute the upper limit which is 4 put 4 there we have um, 4 squared plus 4 that's for the upper limit now because now the upper limit is 4 minus we substitute the lower limit that will give us 2 squared plus 2 and we put the larger bracket there so we have this minus sign so this is going to give us 16 plus this is 20 and this is a um, 4 plus this is 6 so here we have um, 20 minus 6 that will give us 
minus 14 which means I made a mistake in the last one 6 minus 20 I said is minus 16 this meant to be minus 14 okay so you can see the left and the right hand side they are actually giving us the same thing and that's what is always going to be um, just take note that whenever you have this expression the integral whenever you swap if you swap the upper and the lower limit just attach a minus sign and it's always going to give you the same thing so that's the solution to the first challenge um, now we also give us this other one which is the second principle the second principle states that when you have the integral from a to b in this case from 1 to 7 that you can decide to plug an item in between so here I decided to plug 4 in between okay so this is the 4 I'm plugging in between so instead of me moving from 1 to 7 directly for some reason of which you're going to see it as you proceed um, for some reason you might decide to plug something in between so uh, I can say okay let's move from 1 to 4 then from 4 to 7 um, you might decide not to use 4 and say you want to use 10 which is something outside of 1 to 7 it's still going to work out basically any value you want to use um, to plug in there you should and it's still going to work out fine so I gave this one as an assignment also as an exercise that you should go ahead and still see if the left hand side will give you the same thing as the right hand side so that's what I'm going to be looking at here so I'll work on the left hand side for the left hand side we have the integral from 1 to 7 of 2x plus 1 right 2x plus 1 dx and when you work on this since this is the same expression as the other one the expression is basically the same thing so we know that if we integrate that we are going to get um, eventually x square plus 1 right and the limit is from um, 1 to 7 so we move ahead to swipe to the upper limit. the upper limit is 7 so swipe to the upper limit you have 7 squared plus 1 and now minus is swipe to the lower limit lower limit is 1 squared plus 1 so we have that this is when I integrate this is going to be x I have to wipe that off this is meant to give us x not 1 so I'm integrating this is meant to be x right so when I swipe to the upper limit this is going to give us um, a 7 I don't know what I'm thinking so 7 squared plus 7 this will be 49 49 plus 7 that should be um, 56 right so I have here to be 56 okay now my head is right this is x squared as 1 squared this will give us 2 so 56 minus 2 will give us a final result as 54 so this is what we have for the left hand side so next we need to try the right hand side and see if it's going to give us um, the same result so the right hand side is a combination we are done with this the right hand side is a combination of these two so we need to see if we integrate this expression now are we going to get the same result so let's see that so integral from 1 to 4 so we are moving down to the right hand side now so the right hand side if I integrate this okay you accept that I'm going to get x squared plus x of which my limit is from 1 to 4 and uh, let me put all of this in the brackets then if I integrate the second case I'm still going to be getting x squared plus x but this time around my limit is from 4 down to 7 so now I'll work on this part and see what I'm going to get anywhere I see x I'll start by subtracting the upper limit which is 4 then I swap to lower limit then I'll come to this part and do the same thing and simplify to see if I'm going to get 54 so let's try that so let's swap to the upper limit 1 and 4 I'm moving to the next page so we have to remember what we have there x squared plus x 1 to 4 so let's see that this will give us we are subtracting the upper limit which is 4 so this is um, I think that's 4 square plus 4 minus the lower limit is 1 so that will be lower limit is 1 yes 1 I think yeah 1 square plus 1 so this is me substituting for the first expression 
So let's do the same for the second expression. So now we are coming to this other expression. We are done with the first one. Let's come to this. Um, so here our limits are 4 and 7. The upper limit is 7. So we start by accepting the upper limit which is 7. This will give us 7 square plus 7. Okay, then we sub to the lower limit. Lower limit is 4. This will be 4 squared plus 4. So if we simplify this, we should be having um, this is 16, this is 20, and this is 220 minus 2. Um, that will give us 18. So here we have a result to be 18. Plus, this is a um, 49 49 plus this is giving us a um, 56 okay so let's see that 56 so i have 56 there so let's write that down 56 this is going to give us 20 so 56 minus 20 and um, that gives us 54 so this is 54 which rhymes with the other value we have here 54 so you can see the left and the right hand side are actually giving us the same thing okay the left and the right hand side are actually giving us the same thing so that's why we are going to end it um and i'll see you guys in the next video where we are going to start integration by substitution algebraic substitution to be precise okay bye bye